outer space. Its mystery and vastness has long fired the human imagination. We dream about traveling through outer space. We wonder whether other life forms exist in the universe. Through most of human history, the pull of gravity has allowed us to travel only in our thoughts and in our stories. Wild fantasy vehicles have pierced the deep space of science fiction stories. Dreams moved towards reality in the early 20th century with the development of liquid fuel rockets. The first was launched in 1926 by R. H. Goddard in the United States. Germany in the Second World War pushed rocket research ahead. The V-1 and V-2 rockets developed by Werner von Braun were used in the bombing of London. At the end of the war, many German scientists moved to the United States, and the V-2 became the foundation of the American rocket program for the next decade. Throughout the 50s, the possibilities of space flight and its effects on astronauts were tested in high-speed airplanes. American test pilots continually broke records for speed and altitude of jet plane flight. The modern space era began in 1957. Using a rocket as launch vehicle, the first satellite, called Sputnik 1, was launched by the Soviet Union. An American satellite was in orbit the following year, and a race to the moon was on. For the next decade, moon probes and men in orbit captured the world's imagination. With each new flight, the Soviet and American space programs pushed the barriers of space flight closer to the goal of a moon landing. In 1969, the American Apollo space program fulfilled one of the greatest dreams of human history, when Neil Armstrong walked on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The years following that first moonwalk have been marked by many great events. The United States and the Soviet Union have linked space vehicles in orbit. The shuttle now ferries equipment into space which enables satellites to be repaired and experimental research to be carried out. Men and women from many different occupations have lived and worked in space. We have learned a great deal about our solar system. Probes and robot landing vehicles have sent back valuable information about Earth's nearest neighbors, Venus and Mars. Lifeless environments on both planets have shattered forever the old idea of Martian or Venusian invaders coming to Earth. The focus of exploration has now turned towards the outer solar system. Voyager space probes have sent back spectacular photographs of familiar planets, showing rings and moons we didn't know were there. Beyond the solar system, distance becomes so great that a new order of technology is required for interstellar voyages. Our insatiable curiosity drives the quest to probe deeper into the heavens. <laughs> 